Well, hey there, and how are you today? My name is Carla. I am an adult doll collector, and as you can see, we are once again looking at some Miniverse creations. These are two that I had opened up a long time ago, and I was too intimidated, to be honest, to put them together. I'm not so afraid now, so I thought I would finally assemble these. And then I have a few others that I had opened up. And these are from the, um, yeah, these are series two from the, um, the diner series. That's what these are. But these are from series one. Let's get started because it's about time that I put them together. And I remember being so thrilled about getting this cup. So I think the first thing we're going to do is get out the straw. And I love how the straws are actually you know, straws. And we have these little chocolatey things here, which are cool. I think I'll only put the one in and save the others for other things. And look at these. Aren't they clever? Oh gosh, I'm just... I just love this series. And then I believe we get the one scoop of whipped cream in the whipped cream container. <laughs> and we do one perfect scoop of whipped cream. So let's see if this is going to be nice to me. I've had meh luck with the resin stuff. I mean, although I love getting the stuff made, I am not a big fan of dealing with the resin. I'll, yeah. And series one, the um, the papers on top did not come off easily, so you also had that to deal with. So let's see though. Oh, there we go. It's coming out nice, so yay. Did I speak too soon? Look at that, yeah. All right, chocolate shake. Ooh. Got the straw in. Now this thing, when I got it, I remember another reason I was not sure about doing it is because it did not come with the chocolate. Um, it's supposed to come with some chocolate squares. And it didn't, and I was a little bit kind of disappointed about that. So, and we'll put in the uh, whipped cream on the very top. I think we will anyway. No, not off the side. On the top, I said, on the top. Okay, how is that supposed to work? Okay, so I guess it's the whipped cream goes toward the front. And those other things kind of sank down inside. Oops. And these are in the back. No, Mr. Whipped Cream. All right, let's bake this. Alrighty, there we go. One treat down. Now I'm going to save this because that's just too cool to throw away. It says whipped cream. Come on. And now we can make a cherry pie. So I love how the cherry pie comes in <laughs> this little pie box like that. And it has the lacing just pretty and look at that it's just so nicely done okay let's put in the crust all right then I think we're supposed to put in the straw the cherries okay you be nice to me be nice to me let's see if the paper will come up easily and be nice to me it does not want to be nice. Come on. 
Okay. All right. Oh, I had to tear that a bit. But I think I can get you. It does come bubbling out, doesn't it? I'm going to let that keep kind of working its way down, and I'll put some of the, the cherries in. Why do I keep wanting to call them strawberries? And look how cool these cherries are. Look at those. <laughs> I just love them. I think I'm going to end up using all of these. Yep. All right. But I'm going to save that. You know how it is. Always looking for something else that we can use as something else. Oh. We have a runaway cherry. Okay. Now let's see if we can put some more of this stuff on the top of the cherries. Okay. Then we put the top crust on. It's time we bake it. But we are... But we already have something in. Do you have this extra spoon? And I've been enjoying putting silverware away in a drawer. It's been quite nice. So, here's another one that we can open up while we're waiting. So this one is, oh yeah. So, well, you'll probably guess pretty quickly. So we have this dish. Look at that dish. Isn't that cool? And then we have oh, this goes in the middle of the dish. You know what this is by now, right? You know what it is. Of course, the tongs, a spoon, we have cheese sauce, Turn head upside down. We have some pico de gallo. It looks kind of pico de gallo-ish. And we have some snacky snacks. And when you open them up, you actually have snacky snacks in there. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I love it. And the shake is ready. Let's see how it came out. Well, I guess it's perpetually lopsided, but that's okay. I do have my chocolate shake made now. And I'm glad, I'm glad, because, you know, you gotta have a chocolate shake. So, <laughs> let's bake a pie. All right, so we have the makings for the yellow, have the makings for the yellow corn nachos. So in here it says to, well, sprinkle the cups in the dish, so we will do that. Let's sprinkle the, the not the cups, let's sprinkle the chips. There we go. Although I think I'm going to put in some of this pico de gallo now. And I can use a spoon to do it, right? So we have this little spoon. Can we scoop it in? Oh, we can, okay. All right, and I think I just about have all the cheese sauce out of here. It isn't being too horrible. And okay. I think I'm gonna spread a little bit of this pico kind of throughout this stuff as well. The cherry pie is all done. So here it is. Yay, cherry pie, my oh my. And while that's baking, let's check out something else. So now here's the next one. And we have some grape. 
grape. So we have a cup. Of course, the tongs. We have a straw. And a bag of ice. So clever. I can't help it. I'm always amused by the bags of ice. So this one looks like it will be a grape soda, I'm guessing. Yep. Grape soda, that one. Okay, so let's pour in the grape soda. Oh, isn't that cool? Let's put in some of the ice while we're here. Okay, let's put some of the ice in this. And of course we want to push the ice cubes down in here to make it look more, well, you know, realistic. I think it's time for the straw now, isn't it? And when that's, when we're ready, We'll bake it. Cook it. Well, that was easy. Gotta like it. All right, let's try this one. Well, that's all going. So that we have, see, we have this little thing that says snacky snacks. And then we have a little tray. Okay. And of course, the tongs. You know, they just kind of come with it. We have another spoon. We have some chocolate sauce. And turn that upside down. We have this cute tiny little cup. Look at that. Oops, let me move this over here. There we go. And some sunny bites. All right. Okay. Let's get making this. Yeah. Let's get making it. Oh. Before we do, we can put the soda in because our nachos are all ready. Here they are. All right. Well, they look like nachos. Okay. I'll take it. Put that up here. Put the grape soda in here. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with how long, how many times you can use all this. All right, so to make the churros, here we go. So this is the Chaco churros. And the directions for them are right here. So it says we, I dip the churros in the chocolate sauce and I put them on the plate. Then I put some more chocolate sauce in, a, in the cup. Well, that doesn't sound too horrible, actually. All right, so I've got, I'm putting the paper on here. Let's open up the chocolate sauce. And what do we oh, Okay, yeah, there we go. It does look like chocolate sauce. It's kind of cool. Now let's get out our churros. <laughs> get dipping them. Yeah. So we have, looks like four churros. Okay. I'm going to so dip. Put that here. And then we put chocolate sauce in the cup. Okay, that's easier said than done. I almost want to scoop the cup into there, but I know that would be a really bad idea. And I'm going to leave the spoon in there. Since we still have one thing cooking, last one. And this one, <laughs> I mean, look at that. It's a hot dog. 
I mean, I know you know it's a hot dog, but oh my gosh. Yep. Uh, so this is going to be a hot dog with mustard. So as you can see, we have... <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Just, oh, utterly charming. Okay. And some... Well, mustard. Let's get that going upside down for a while. Oh, the lid for the mustard. Came out nice. Let's put the churros in. There we go. All right, so we have hot dog buns. Okay. So, and here's, so here is for the, the hot dog. And on the back side is, so you put the hot dog bun in here, okay. I don't think I'll be using both hot dogs for this one. Yeah, this is just enough for one hot dog. All right, let's put some of the mustard in this hot dog bun. There we go. What it looks like coming out. It's pretty mustardy. Oh, I almost forgot to cut get a hot dog out too. All right, let's make. I'm gonna try and make a swirly thing with mustard. There's no guarantee. Yeah, all right, well. All right, let's see how this came out. And we have our churros. I think they came out looking pretty good, yeah. So anyway, yeah, here's our churro dish. It's all ready to go. Right, the, la the hot dog is ready. Let's pull it out of the oven. And here we go. All right, so here's our hot dog. So today we got to take a look at the Miniverse Diner Series 1, and we got to make a shake and a cherry pie, which I've been waiting to make. And we also got to take a look at Miniverse Series 2 Cafe. And we got to make a hot dog, some nachos, some churros, and a grape soda. I think that the dolls are off to a fantastic start in having their own diner. What do you think? If you like this video, please hit like. Um, if you're if you're a subscriber, thank you very much for being a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, it would be fantastic if you would become a subscriber. The subscriber button is somewhere. It's down here or up here. I think it's somewhere on this side. I think. So yeah, you just hit the button. It's free. It costs you nothing. It makes me happy. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you think of these. And um, I'm really enjoying the enjoying the heck out of this um, the Miniverse kitchen set. I, I didn't think I would as much, but I'm really having a good time with it. Um, so anyway, comment down below. Let me know if any of this looked appealing to you or not, and um, or whatever. You know, just comment. I, I read everyone's comments. I appreciate it. hearing from you guys. It makes my day. And um, sharing is caring, so so pass this along if you'd like to. There might be someone out there who doesn't know about the miniverse, and they've seen the you know they've seen the balls in the store, and they haven't been sure what they are. So pass this along, and maybe then they could understand that what a really cool and surprising you know idea this is. This is I just love these. I'm I wish they'd had these when I was a kid. They are they, they're just awesome. They're superb. So yeah, 
So anyway, definitely pass it along. And thank you very much for stopping by. I appreciate you giving me your time out of your day. And I hope you have a fantastic day. It's beautiful where I am at this moment, although it is warm. I'm hoping that you are enjoying some agreeable weather wherever you are and whenever this finds you. So anyways, I'm off and you have a great day. And goodbye.